Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with every Cancer watching this video. I'm not returning their messages. Someone's eyes out for sure. Feeling lonely, missing you. This could also be you. Take it how it resonates. Yep, someone's coming back. We got a reconciliation coming in. This is someone who you have good memories with. Someone who's your soulmate, okay? This is a very strong soulmate connection. There could be a significant difference between you guys. But this person is wanting to come back, okay? They're coming towards you. Could be a very codependent relationship. But yeah, this could be an ex or just someone you have very good memories with. They're coming towards you slow and steady, okay? This is a very slow and steady lover, okay? But someone who's very determined, someone who's very um, sure about what they want. It's a very slow-moving energy. So yeah, you probably may not see this person coming, okay? Or probably this person is a little boring otherwise, okay? That's someone who's very focused on their career, goals, money, etc. Okay, they have like this certain routine. And maybe you're never really on their priority list and which makes you feel very left out in the call, which makes you feel very isolated, which makes you feel like you're the only one in the relationship. But there is a lot of love here, okay? It's just that this is how this person functions. They're very focused on themselves. Their money, their business, their routine means a lot to them, okay? So probably this person wouldn't be finding a lot of time to come towards you, talk to you, have a conversation with you. Maybe this person is just very, very involved in themselves. Doesn't look like someone who's very selfish or greedy, but someone who's just, you know, they just like to be in their day-to-day -day routine. But they're coming towards you. But with the Queen of Wands in reverse here, you're, you're lacking that motivation towards this person. All right, I'll tell you what's going on. You're someone who wants things now, okay? You're passionate, you're enthusiastic, you got that energy going. You're like that go-getter energy, okay? And you're like always leading, you're always wanting to lead this relationship. You're dealing with someone who's very, very slow moving, someone who's like literally on a tortoise. You see that horse that's not even moving. And that's what's happening here. There is a very strong bond here, but probably this is what's frustrating you. It's like you're probably being very pushy, very demanding, like, come on, make a move towards me, okay? Or let's just get things moving a little faster. Because you're like the action queen, okay? And this person's just like, yeah, well, I do love you. I do want you. But the pace. You know, the pace is very different out here, okay? You're like that fast-moving energy and they're like super, super slow, but very steady, very steady, very steady, okay? That's what's happening here. And you're losing the motivation. You're losing the spark day by day. Tell me more. Six of Swords, but yeah, there's someone who is wanting to move forward or probably you're wanting to move forward, okay? Six of Swords is someone who's wanting to get out of rocky waters. It feels to me like this person is wanting to come towards you. There's, again, like I feel there's a diff between you guys. Don't feel like a big fight, but it's just that you guys are not on the same page when it comes to maintaining that pace, okay? Like I said before, okay, this is someone very steady, very stubborn lover, like I said, okay? But they're like to, they, they like to take baby steps. And here you are with the Queen of Wands here, okay? And you're someone who likes those big moves, big leaves. Let's make it passionate. Let's make it adventurous. Let's make it fun, okay? And this person's like, well, you know, you go along. I'll, I'll be right there, you know? And you're like, dude, come on now, you know? Let's be on the same page for once. But that's going to be tough if that's the way you're going to behave, okay? But they're wanting to come towards you, okay? They want to move into calmer waters. They want a peaceful resolution for sure, okay? That person's operating a lot from their... This is someone very practical, very grounded. Not like you're not, but you're just more fun-loving is what I'd say, okay? And you just want things your way and right now you're just being a little more playing with their emotions probably, okay? <coughs> You've taken a step back and that's why they're coming in towards you. Tell me more. You could have created a very... You could have created a mental distance, okay? A physical or mental distance between you guys is also what I'm hearing. Like, you know what? If you're not making that move towards me, if you're not going to get that ass moving, then I'm done, okay? I'm no more interested in this. This is lack of interest from your side. But you can't get away from this person because of the Six of Cups, because that's your soulmate. Ace of Wands in reverse here, okay? So yeah, there's that lack of enthusiasm from your side. This is not them. This is you. 
you probably feel this is a very uh, it's like a false start okay for you it's like every single time you think you know you've got that passion you've got that enthusiasm for this person you're very interested but you know you're not taking action towards them because you're just losing that interest like i said right you're losing that mojo once this person is still there moving slowly towards you like you're like literally like dude are we there yet if you're trying to get away from this relationship or connection it's not going to happen okay we have the six of cups here that is a soulmate connection you guys are probably going to keep coming back to each other okay you're just going to be like what the hell see confused like what the fuck is going on I, neither is this person wanting to move at my pace nor are they moving a little faster they're just doing their own thing i don't know where i am in this person's life what spot do i hold etc but they're coming towards you okay they're just going to take their own time yeah so probably very slow moving someone who you just have to shake you know like dude talk to me like dude what's going on something like that but there's a lot of confusion here a lot of confusion which is probably making you feel like you don't want to invest into this relationship you've completely stopped putting in the work okay maybe you feel this person is not putting in the work maybe you feel they're not putting in the work and you're the one who needs to put in on the work and that's why you're backing out you have a very passive approach now towards this relationship okay and there's a lot of confusion here <coughs> you're just confused does this person love you or not but they do tell me more they do with a hermit here this person's doing a lot of contemplation okay a lot of thinking a lot of what when where how why a lot of self-introspection this person needs that alone time give it to them i'd say give it to them because if you don't want that false start okay because you start and you stop okay you start and you stop it's like you see you meet like a dead end every single time you're so enthusiastic about this new beginning with this person it's like oh now it's going to be a fresh start you know now things are going to be my way that's just not how it's going to work okay because that's someone who's very demanding very pushy okay someone who's very dominating a very domineering partner it's not going to work with them because they're as stubborn as you okay and this person needs their time they like their alone time this is someone who enjoys uh being um not isolated but being on their own it's like they're a <coughs> happy place so this is someone very wise okay very wise they could have ghosted you right now but they're doing a lot of thinking a lot of contemplation like i said okay a lot of self-introspection trying to go within themselves and trying to find the answers yeah see with the strength here you want this person to make that big bold courageous moves okay but right now you're trying your best to hold back you're trying to resist your feelings from this person you're withholding from this person okay only because you probably feel that this person is just wanting to have fun without commitment or this is just someone who's not interested you know which keeps making you feel with the five of pentacles you're very left out in this relationship but well that's not what it is okay it's just the confusion because there's a lack of clarity here and <coughs> This person keeps ghosting you okay you're probably dealing with a ghoster every time there's like life hits them hard every time there's something that happens within the relationship and they tend to go into their shell okay and you're like dude you disappear again and that's why now this time you're putting in your hundred percent to hold back from this person okay you're trying to tame the, your tame your uh, emotions your passion for this person okay see that's what you're holding back Tell me more, please. Yeah, see? Queen of Cups in reverse. I don't see this as two people here, Cancer. I don't think this is two people here. Okay. Could be two people, but I'm not getting that. I've got to say the story that I get. I feel this is a relationship where you feel you're the only one who's carrying the entire stress, the entire burden of the relationship. You could have had unconditional love towards this person, okay? And you were the one who was very forthcoming in this relationship, always wanted to take action, always leading the relationship, okay? You were always the one who was leading the relationship, always the one who would make plans, etc., okay? And now you've completely shut off from this person, with the passion no action no um emotion you know you become very cold and detached towards them okay whilst they're wanting to move towards you 
they realize this uh, connection they want a reconciliation but it's just that there's a lot of confusion here okay because with the hermit here this person keeps doing a lot of thinking okay which is probably why you're feeling so iced out like i said right why you're feeling so i mean they keep ghosting you in short okay someone who's just wanting to be on their own they need that alone time and you probably have this misunderstanding probably that this person is not interested whereas they are but it's just that i feel you're expecting too much from this person and that's just not this not this kind of a person that you're dealing with this is someone very practical very grounded okay you're full of passion and emotions but now because this person's probably taking baby steps towards you you feel left out but they're coming towards you <coughs> with the six of swords here they are maybe it could even be you who's created that distance between you both okay and you're just wanting to move forward you know like it's okay i got the clarity that i need and i'm just gonna let it go because i'm done with the false starts here because there is emotion there's a lot of passion here like i said right that enthusiasm but you refuse to take action something's like a big fat it's like get set and then it's like no you know something like that it's like it starts so quickly but then it ends so quickly it just fizzles out and only because of this person's knight of pentacles and the hermit here those are too slow as moving energies okay very boring very boring and very slow and you're like all about fun emotions love you know like that passion fun loving thing okay now you're holding back from this person that's what i'm getting whoever it resonates with give me the outcome what is the outcome for cancer this week what is the outcome for cancer and love this week whoa knight of wands in reverse here there is someone who's very passionate about you i feel you with the knight of wands in reverse here i feel you have a lot of passion for this person okay it's like you are like i said you you really um this person really turns you on you have that spark okay when it comes to this person but you're purposely intentionally holding back and that's why there's this lack of forward moment here okay because with the seven of pentacles here i think you're waiting and watching if you want to continue investing into this relationship that has come in so long term okay it's like a long term connection that this is okay but now you're waiting and watching because this person probably seems too focused on themselves not in a bad way but it's just that they're very routine based is what i'd say give me one more card for the outcome give me one more card for the outcome give me one more card for the outcome Give me one more card for the outcome. See, things are going to be on hold. I, I'm getting like a batch fest. Not like a batch fest. I'm getting things on hold because I think you're going to take your time and this person's ghosted you. So they're going to take their time. Okay? And they're trying to see things from a different point of view whilst you're holding your horses. You're holding your horses. <clears throat> you're probably being a little reckless here, okay? Let me call you out, Cancer. If this is not you, this is them. But there's someone here who's being very reckless right now, okay? Making very impulsive decisions like, I want it now, like right fucking now, you know? And this person's like, wait, hold up. I need some time, you know? Someone's keeping things on hold. There's going to be a little bit of stagnation in your relationship right now because someone's trying to see things from another person, okay? Another point of view, another person's point of view, okay? But that's a good energy because that's a very spiritual, very meditative energy where there is no action right now, lack of movement, but a lot of thinking is going into this, okay? This person's thinking about you a lot whilst you hold back, okay? Whilst you hold back. The other way, it could also be that probably this person's holding back, okay? Because they have a lot of passion for you, but they need to do a lot of thinking before they come rushing in towards you. But I'm not getting so much as them. I'm getting this as you. I'm getting this as you. Because they seem to be someone who's very practical and grounded, okay? It's just that their way of thinking is different. They're not impulsive and reckless like you. So yeah, I do feel that this is you holding back. That's why something's not moving forward. And you've completely, you know, like, um, you know, you're directionless right now. And with the hangman here, that's why things are going to be on hold for a bit. Okay, whilst this person does the thinking and they come out, come back to you and talk to you. But right now, I don't see any communication coming in. Okay, there is a possibility of this person wanting to move towards you with clarity, but it's going to take some time. It is. Okay, because you're both, you're, you're holding back with the strength and diversity and this person needs some time before they come towards you with that clarity and before they take action towards you. Okay.
That's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Do like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.